Hello class, this is Professor Virko with a very short video about your portfolio checklist. It's extremely important for me that you don't forget to do it and that you fill it out properly. This is why. At the end of the semester, I have a huge stack of portfolios to read, sometimes as many as 100 students and four or five papers each. That's a lot of papers for me to read to make my own due dates. And the organizational chaos of having to go through turnitin.com and look to see if you revised a paper or not can gobble up hours and hours of my time. So please, please, please fill out these convenient portfolio checklists and let me know if you didn't revise a paper, very clearly say, I'll I didn't revise it and you'll get the original rubric score as your grade. If you did revise it, tell me you revised it and what your original score was so I can go and look for it and then see if you have improved the paper or not. Okay, This is very unusual. I don't know if any of you have ever had another teacher who has done this, but we're not paid to do this. I'm not paid to read your papers three or four times each. I do sometimes because I want you to succeed and I think that it's the very best teaching possible to not just slap a grade on your first draft and say fine you got a C good enough let's move on to the next assignment. My approach is this paper is a average but I know you have the potential to be average. Here's what you need to do to revise this and improve your work. That's the best learning. And so you have the opportunity, your first essay, the icebreaker, uh, if you revised it, um, put it in the right portfolio folder and make sure you double check and put the right draft in there, okay? If you put the original draft in there, I won't have time to email you and say, hey, this looks exactly the same as the old one. Um, if you revised your definition paper and you want to improve the original rubric score based on my feedback, go ahead and submit it to the digital portfolio folder. Same thing for the argument paper. So at the end of the semester, this digital portfolio that we have will have all of your final drafts in it. Don't resubmit the original draft if you did not revise it, okay? That just gets confusing for me because I'm starting to read it and going, this is exactly the same as the last essay. So I don't want to have to waste time figuring it out. That's a big part of what the portfolio checklist is all about. You can let me know. I did revise it. I did not revise it. I can just go through it. And, it, and then I can continue to grade papers this way. Otherwise, I have to just go back to doing things the way all other teachers are, which is basically turn in your draft, that's your grade, no chance to revise. So uh, if we work together, this will work. And a big part of that is on you right now. Please, please, please fill out those portfolio checklists and submit them to the correct folder at Turnitin so that when I put together uh, all the final grades, I'll have them to look at and cross-reference and save a lot of time. Have a good summer. This has a, been a very interesting learning experience for you and for me. I have a lot of good students in this group.